It's Transformers 96 here, and in the video I'm going to be talking about some new uh, Hot Toys news. So yeah, so just a few days ago Hot Toys did reveal that they will be making uh, Netflix Daredevil 1 to 6 scale figures, which is extremely exciting. It's something I've heard a lot of people ask for for a long time, It's but it was something that I never expected to happen. Or if it did happen, you know, it would probably happen when the Defender show came out or something like that. But uh, I really wasn't expecting this, so it was a big surprise, and uh, it was a great surprise. I, I'm quite happy about it. Um, I do watch the Netflix shows and uh, I really love them. Both seasons of Daredevil were really nice and uh, uh, Jessica Jones is quite good as well and I, I'm very much looking forward to Luke Cage in September. So very cool. Um, there, you know, this wasn't this wasn't an announcement for the Netflix Marvel shows figures. This was just about Daredevil. So we won't be getting Jessica Jones figures at least at this moment. Maybe we will in the future though. But uh, at the moment, just Daredevil. So here I'm going to be just talking about quickly what they said and then what I want to see from their line and what I expect to see from their line basically. So they they basically just announced that we're thrilled to announce today that Hot Toys. Uh, 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 Hot Toys highly detailed and amazing collectibles based on the highly popular Netflix original series Marvel Deadpool or Marvel uh, Daredevil are uh, coming real soon. And uh, Daredevil fans, stay tuned. It's time to get ready for The Man Without Fear and the Deadly Vigilante, The Punisher. Um, so basically, they've confirmed two figures. Um, which is quite interesting, and uh, I definitely hope that they are doing more than these two figures. But so very exciting for, uh, very excited to get the actual announcement. Now let's talk about what characters and figures they can do. So basically, these are the five they can do. Um, there's no other characters that they can really do from the show. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they're, they're not going to do anybody else other than these five. And I doubt they'll even get to all of these five, too. So these are the only possibilities of uh, Hot Toys figures. Uh, I, I don't think that there's any chance that we'll get like a, a stick, a Hot Toys figure, anything like that, or or the villain from Season 2, we're, we're definitely not going to get. So these are the only ones that are, uh, are possible uh, or possibilities uh, for figures. Um, also, th there might be spoilers for the show, season one or two. Um, I don't plan to spoil anything, but I'm certainly not going to censor myself. So if you haven't watched those, I, I don't think there's anything big to spoil, but uh, I might say something. Um, but yeah, so we have Daredevil, his season one, the majority of the season costume, and then his season two costume. We've got Kingpin, Punisher, and Elektra. So they've confirmed Daredevil and Punisher. Um, but they haven't confirmed, obviously, which costumes they're going to use. So with Daredevil, they can go two routes. Uh, they can go the first season, which is a very uh, realistic and, you know, um, grounded in reality costume that just anybody could make. Uh, you know, like I could make that costume easily, you know. Uh, so it's, it's a very realistic costume. Really did love it in season one, and it was a really nice representation of Daredevil, especially in a very grounded world of reality. So I definitely like that costume a lot, and most people like that costume. Uh, I I still see people today making customs of that costume and wanting one in six scale versions of that costume over the actual red season two costume, which is much more like the comics. Um, and then, of course, there is the Season 2 costume, which, like I said, is like a lot more like the comics. It's certainly, it, it's more militarized, where it's got, like, a vest instead of just, like, skin-tight clothing or red, you know, spandex. It's certainly not that. So, uh, it, it still is quite uh, cool, and I definitely like the Season 2 costume a lot. Personally, I would love to see Hot Toys make both. I mean, that would just be really cool to see both of them. Um, but personally, if I had to pick one, I'd go with the Season 2 one, just because it's more Daredevil-like. Um, obviously, I look at that, and I, I certainly see Daredevil. So I prefer the Season 2 one, and if they do make the Season 2 Daredevil costume, I will be buying it. So I'm very excited for that. The Season 1 uh, costume looks awesome, but just, you know, it, it doesn't scream Daredevil to me. Um, you know, it obviously is Daredevil, but like anybody looking at it at the, on my shelf would have no clue if that's Daredevil or not had they not seen the show. So I'd probably prefer a more, you know, uh, comic-like uh, costume that's still... Uh, uh, realistic and modern though like the season 2 one so hopefully they do that one I'll be excited to get that and then with Punisher which they had confirmed of course um uh, a lot of people loved Punisher from Season 2. I did as well. Um, I, I liked him a lot in Season 2. It's just, I'm not a big Punisher fan to begin with. And the show didn't change me too much. Like, I enjoyed his character, but I'm not like, ooh, I'm, I, you know, I don't love the Punisher now. Um, he's just, he's an alright character. He's, uh... He doesn't seem very Marvelish to me, I guess, is maybe what I, where I get a little hung up on him, but, um... 
Uh, but overall, I liked him in season two. Would I buy a figure of him? Probably not. You know, I, I like the character in the in the in that show. However, uh, I just I don't have a, a need for the figure. And you know, a lot of people are very excited for this figure. So if you are, good for you. You know, you're gonna enjoy it. But me personally, I don't plan to get it. However, they could do two different routes. They could have him in this type of costume, just basically regular clothing, what he wore throughout the show, or they could have him in his season finale uh, costume, which basically was what he basically wears but a longer trench coat and then a, uh, uh, a bulletproof vest that has the skull painted or spray painted on it. Um, I, I, I would imagine they would do the one with the skull. It's just, you know, obviously that's not what he wore the most. However, it is just, it's more flashy and that's, they're gonna, they have a better chance of selling more figures if they have in more of a costume-like uh, stance. Now the two f characters that are in question but are possible are Electra and Kingpin. Electra, um, I don't think that they're gonna do. Uh, she doesn't wear anything super costume-like in the show. She obviously does have the front little mask, and I believe that her costume does, it, it gets a little bit more extravagant, uh, uh, rather than the one that I have pictured here. I think that it gets a slightly more extravagant, um, but it, it certainly doesn't, uh, get too comic-y or anything, so she is wearing relatively regular style clothing, which, uh, I think is, that it means that there's a less chance that they'll make, as well as she has bare arms, which means they'd have to do rubber arms, which, again, is another reason why I think there's less of a chance that they'll make her, as well as she wasn't. She was a character, I really did enjoy that character from the show, um, but I don't think that she's big enough, like, uh, Daredevil and, and Punisher and even Kingpin to actually get a figure made out of her at this moment. Maybe in the future we will, but uh, I don't I don't see them making an electric figure. Um, now the one that I would love the most, and I really hope they do make, is Kingpin. Uh, I love Kingpin from season one. I'm a, I'm a villains fan for sure, and I think that they did Kingpin excellent. Uh, I think that he was just a fantastic villain from season one, and when he showed up in season two, I was just uh, I was really blown away, and and the show got a lot more interesting when he showed up. I think that he is the best part of the Netflix Daredevil series. Uh, I absolutely love the character. Whether they will make him in the figure or not, I don't know. I think that he's popular enough for them to do him. However, the biggest problem with him is he doesn't wear a costume. You know, he's just, he's a guy in a suit, uh, which means I don't think that they're going to make a figure of him. Um, however, I would love to see a figure, uh, you know, in, in, you know, a nice tailored suit. They'd, they'd also have to either do a lot of padding or redesign the body sculpt because he's a very big guy. Uh, he's very tall and he's, you know, he's a bit slightly on the tubby side there to, uh, to match that, uh, that kingpin, uh, uh, look. So, you know, I don't know if they'd, uh, if it would be more costly for them to have to redesign the body or to do a lot of extra padding um, so I'm not quite sure if they would uh, if that would be a turnoff for them I hope that they would do him though and uh, certainly give us some hands like he has here where he can be like holding his cufflings I think that would be perfect but uh you know, he's just he's a, he's the best part of the Daredevil show in my opinion, and I absolutely love him as the uh, the villain. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they do make a Daredevil or they do make a Kingpin. Um, if they made all uh, five of these, which ones that I get? I get the um, the season two Daredevil, and I get Kingpin. Uh, I don't even if they made Elektra, I don't think I get Elektra. Maybe I would, but I don't think so. The season one costume is really cool, but I don't have a need for two of the Daredevil costumes. And then, like I said, there's just I enjoy Punisher in the show, but there's just I, I have no interest in a figure for him, so I just don't need that. So there you go. That's my uh, that's my thoughts and expectations and hopes for what the uh, one and six scale license for Hot Toys will bring from the Netflix Daredevil show. Let me know uh, which figures you like to. See from them and uh, which figures you think they'll make. All right, there you go. Thanks so much for watching.